Okay, I have no idea what, top, what I'm actually looking at here, apart from the fact I'm looking at cumulonimbus. But um, for all I know, this could be the, end, the tail end of the uh, rain band that crossed Melbourne this evening, I mean this morning. Or it could be totally new thunderstorms uh, to the west and southwest of Geelong. Pretty close to that. strikes are happening while I'm going between trees. Trees are blocking all the good strikes. They're all embedded behind a rain curtain anyway. I'm on the wrong side of the thunderstorm. I'm on the outflow side. I'm not even sure where it is. I'm about 40 kilometers east of Mort Lake and the storm looks like it's about uh, 100 kilometres north of me. And the time is 9:11. 11. 11 minutes, 11 minutes past nine. I don't have a compass, but um, it's all the thunderstorm is directly to my right, and I'm heading towards Mort, Mort Lake, approximately west towards Mort Lake. Uh, I think I just saw some crawling sea, uh, cloud to cloud that spider cloud, the cloud or whatever they call it, which is often an indication the storm's dying, the, the lightning's getting weaker, and I just got a visible cloud to ground, and I didn't record it. 
what town's this? We've got the oh, Elephant Bridge Hotel. Mount Emu Creek. Moinshire. Moinshire. This is Moinshire. Oh, yep, we're getting some visible CGs. I need to find myself a lookout. I think I've headed just about far west as I need to. Now I need to start heading north. But I don't have a map of the area, unfortunately. Mortlake, 22 kilometres. We're 22 kilometres east of Mortlake. 60 to 80 kilometres south of the thunderstorm. We've gone completely from the east side to the west side of the outflow cloud. Now the lightning is starting to become visible. Here we go, what's this? It's not exactly going off anymore. Probably try and head north out of Mort Lake if I can. Jeez, and people complain there's not enough trees. I'll tell you what, I'm seeing plenty of bloody trees. In fact, that's all I ever bloody see when I'm chasing at night. Trees, trees, and more trees. And a couple of hills. They're not as bad as the trees. What's the moral of the story? Chasing an aeroplane. I may have even discovered a new type of lightning. I don't know. It's definitely nowhere near as long as your average lightning strike. Oh, very visible cloud to ground and another. Oh, I hope I captured that. 5k east of Mort Lake, somewhere between 40 and 60 kilometres south of the cell. I must be heading slightly northwest, west northwest perhaps because I'm definitely getting closer to the cell. It's probably moving in a southeast direction from the northwest. So I'm slowly getting closer, but also heading to the uh, west side of it so I can get a better view of the lightning and also see if there's any lightning uh, further to the west or north, which there doesn't appear to be. This appears to be the only active cell within uh, lightning strike visibility distance whatever you want to call it. I hope you're enjoying my commentary. So I get a bit of a view of the line here, which is slightly to my left, which seems to be dying too. With any luck, I'll be able to even follow this storm home. I doubt it, but that'd be nice. GFS suggests that the uh, area of um, Cape oh, it will drop to 400, will drift back towards Geelong, so I'm hoping that that means there'll be lightning all the way home. Oh, jeez, there's a CG right in front of us. I think I missed it.